Hi YouTube. Hope you're doing good. I am doing okay. Not too bad. I gotta point out some just nonsense to be aware of. Um, and we all know it's nonsense. We have to go on logic and facts. No matter what um, like is written in the scriptures and, and people's interpretation of that, like the push for, um, like there was giants back in those days, and it'll be like in the time of Noah, you know, like he was a giant of a man indicating of his lifestyle and, um, like his position in life made him giant in comparison to like say somebody that does manual labor compared to like a CEO of a company or that type of that's what a giant of a of a giant is it's like their terminology with aliens yeah there's the illegal aliens but unless you're really kind of quite out of your mind, there is not giants and aliens on this planet. And it's the same with, um, uh, oh, I saw a study that uh, JP React shared how there was this one channel, I don't remember the name of the guy, he had gone out on the street and ask the people on the street if men could get pregnant versus asking people on a college campus at Penn State or Penn University, Pennsylvania, and ask them if a man could get pregnant. Oddly enough, the people at the university who had been conditioned by this system were either really unsure or they said yes that men could get pregnant or um, they they didn't want to answer they but the people out on the street they're like are, are you for real get out of here you know that type of thing and these other stupid people are like well it depends if um it's a woman who identifies as a man, or I don't care what you identify as. Let's get real. You really want to pass on. Shame on you fucking shills working for the deep state, telling people that there's aliens and giants and pregnant men. I'll fuck you all. Yeah, that's just some bullshit right there, and I'm not going, I'm not playing along with their bullshit here, you know. It's like this one, uh, I don't know if she was in the Congress or what it was, but this woman was on, uh, oh, I'm going to check here. I, I don't recall her name. Let me, let me pull up what show she was on. I'll tell you what she said. Something similar to what I might say and have said. How many gen genders are there? Real woman answers. And it was by the psychologist channel. Um. before it starts playing. Katie Hopkins. Okay, Katie Hopkins. Uh, what she said was, if you, just because you tell me you're a, if you tell me you're a, identify as a lampshade, let me stick a light bulb up your ass. I, I didn't see that coming, but good for her. Because that's, you know, the type of nonsense that we are, um, people are being, I mean, can really, people are confused whether there's giants or you're confused 
whether there's aliens or, I mean, compared to most women, I've always been taller. I'm not a giant, you know. Um, I don't feel like I'm from this planet, but we're human and we're here. <coughs> we didn't go up, go to school with giants and aliens and um, pregnant men or men that menstruated or needed um, tampons or Kotex, whatever, feminine napkins, you know, this type of thing. Um, I heard they have them in the boys' room nowadays, but um, uh, that's way perverse. I have no clue what these men are doing with the feminine protection. No clue whatsoever. They don't menstruate, so why would you need feminine protection for your male genitalia? Or if you have like a reconstructed female stuff now that doesn't work like a female's anatomy, Wow, everybody, let's just play pretend, shall we? Don't you think it's rather serious what's uh, be happening to the youth out here? Uh, I do. I think it's, uh, if, I, if I hear anybody I'm related to unsure of how many genders there are, I, I probably will quite quite readily flip out on them you know i i'm not going to sit there and tolerate that i'm going to i'm going to actually probably say something like i think your genes are better than um this regressive mindset i would think that your capabilities are uh, far beyond being tricked and fooled the way some other people might be, but maybe it's just my imagination that I think that maybe my bloodline is a little more intelligent than some other ones. I don't know. Or maybe it's just me, you know? So I'm starting to think that I'm very lonely out here with all this um, reality checking that we're, we need to do. Freaking Israeli news live. Pushing that. Pushing the aliens and pushing the giants. Shame on you, Bat. Really, shame on you that you would do that to other people like that. That's um, hideous. You know, if you can stake your soul on the fact that there's aliens and giants, are you willing to stake your soul on that? I want to know. I want people to say, hey, this is how, or, or I really believe enough that a man can have a child that I'm willing to stake my future on it wholeheartedly. But it's easy for people to just put out these, this bullshit and go along with it. And this is, this is, a, these are people, I mean, what next, you know? They know they came out of a woman. It wasn't the other way around. But they want you to believe things that are not true. And even if they, you don't believe it. And the ones that were, like, hesitant on answering the question, well, then answer the damn question. Answer it with conviction. Stand up for what you believe wholeheartedly. Stake your soul on that shit. Don't be wishy-washy. Don't tell me um, what was in the days of Noah. Show me a fucking giant right now today. I'm not talking about a seven footer. I'm talking about these 1830 foot professed 
giants that that they say used to be and still remain. Show me one. Uh, a live giant that I could have a conversation with or a live alien, a alien, you know. So I want to see proof. I don't want these fake, I mean, isn't it suspicious that um, people have been caught pulling um, shams and ruses, um, putting like monkey heads on human bodies and um, bones from uh, mammoths and other things to reconstruct fictitious animals and fictitious giants and nobody's suspect of that, that they've been caught lying to everybody and you'd still believe the lies and you would still go along with that. That's amazing. And then Stephen Ben Noon's like, and I used to work for the government. What do you mean used to? You mean you still are? Every time he'll put out something that's pretty cool and then he'll come back to this operative shit. This push pretend and bullshit. You can't see the terminology of where that is a giant of a person or if it's a pop star and they're a giant in their field. You know? You can't see the terminology and the language that's being used against you. Is that what? I don't know. I really don't. Hey, tell me, have you ever seen an alien or a giant? I'm not talking about, like I say, seven feet or anything even under ten feet. Have you ever seen? How about in your family history? I have tall people in my family, but we aren't giants. Maybe there was a day where giants roamed the earth. I am not a believer in that. I might change my mind. But right now, I don't really see a lot of evidence that this was a thing. It could have been maybe millions of years ago. Not thousands. There would still be more trace evidence if it was even a couple thousand years ago, you know. And I still wonder, because they talk about, like, the sons of Noah and whatnot, are we sure Noah was a man? It is a female name. Did you know that? I just wondered. But everybody, well... It's written in there, right? Is it? Yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of in the mindset that uh, if I haven't actually seen evidence of these type of things, I mean, I saw a 2,000-year-old mummy. It wasn't giant. As a matter of fact, it was quite small. It was probably, oh, maybe five, five. It was an Egyptian mummy. Why wasn't it giant? Don't you think they would have mummified giants if they had actually been a real thing? I do. See, that would be my first um thing, like, we got to cover this thing in some plaster of Paris here or something and preserve it to show people that there actually used to be giants. Um, there's like a 
400-year-old tree in my backyard, but there isn't any evidence of anything older um, than the pre-existing ones that, that are on our planet. And yeah, there's giant sequoias, but compared to even what they say, and I've seen you know, like the plateaus and like Devil's Rock and different things that do resemble tree trucks and the branches and how they fell. All this could be very, very real, but it's not a reality in our world. And I don't believe that we're going to see it. It's just like I don't believe that um, the kingdom of heaven will come down here on planet Earth. I think the people that carry that type of peacefulness within themselves, um, as peaceful as we can be, is all the heaven we're going to get. And I don't think that anything's ever going to change on that. Um, that's my outlook on that. That I used to believe that we can make a change on this planet. I don't see that that's going to happen. It might. I can always hope. You know. But I don't see a lot of evidence of it. I don't know. Just speak in my mind. You know, or people that believe in the rapture. I think God will talk to us individually, but I don't believe that anybody's going to meet groups of people, Jesus in the air. Not like that. In the ether? Yeah, in the air, no. I think I'm having a bit of a pessimistic day. But when I see people that are a half a century old telling other people that there's aliens and giants and I know that they're CIA, you know, pretending that they're um, just your average fun-loving Christian person, you know. Yeah. And um, wouldn't it be disinformation? Okay, if the power grid goes down, then these Trump commercials with him warning everybody that it's going down wouldn't be disinformation. But why are people like that allowed to even go out there and use that type of fear tactic on people like that when our own government isn't warning us against that type of thing? I mean, they sort of are, but not really. And, and we have wars, but we can't... Um, uh, secure our power grid. I think we've spent enough money on other people that we should be able to make sure if the power goes down that people would have heat and wouldn't die. But it doesn't seem to be a big concern of these people. You know? I'm just really ashamed of these people. And they have children. It's like, how can you sit there and talk about aliens and you have children? You, do you sit there at your, your supper table? Do you, like what, put a place setting for the next uh, giant that you're, do you have a great big dish? that you're going to use for your giant buddy, you know? What a bunch of weirdos. 
don't know if women can or men can get pregnant. They don't know. That's disturbing. <laughs> you know. It is. It's it's terrible. And I can't believe that they're allowed to get out there and just lie like that. And they don't even think nothing of it, you know. That's that's the hell of it right there. They don't even think twice. <coughs> I want them to stake their souls on this stuff. Just like Tucker Carlson. <clears throat> hey, dude, stake your soul on the fact that you don't know that they're just going to shut stuff off so they can start up their digital solar powered bullshit. Stake your, you people, stake your souls on these things that you're putting out there as fact. What kind of proof? are you willing to provide at least from yourself you know nothing that's what i thought and nothing's what you get it's just like oh people actually think that um tucker got fired from fox news and like he didn't walk away or he wasn't secured before he walked away. Like it was some kind of, oh, he went against the system, so they punished him. What? Dude's been a shill from day one. I would occasionally listen to him depending on what he was going to say. But I never believed what he was saying, you know. There is a big difference there. You know, well, anyway, yeah, it's just like Stephen Vendenuth, he wouldn't have a website and be set totally set up is what he's doing for everybody and pushing the Hebrew language within the scriptures that he's teaching, you know, and that, that, that's a big deal. Language is a big deal. Oh, we'll just add a couple vowels here and there, you know. It's like if you put like a R in front of my name or Barbara and then it was a guy's name or whatever. We'll just add some letters here and there and totally change. It won't be woman anymore. It'll just be man, man, you know. Then what do you call a woman? Well, you don't call her anything because there won't be any, <laughs> you know. That's what they're hoping, you know. Most women um, are most, I'm saying. That doesn't make it fact, but because of their children are more level-headed and down-to-earth and more practical out of preservation for their offspring than a lot of men are. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying this is my observation that men are more likely to be out here lying to you about all kinds of stuff than a woman would be. But I could be wrong. I don't think so, though because the, the biggest liars I've ran across are not female. <laughs> well, I've, no, I've ran across some pretty mixed up females, but that doesn't mean that they're lying. 
course, I'd like to ask them if they are unsure if a man can give birth or not. I'd like to ask them if they would stake their soul on their uncertainty. Or are you just afraid to speak up on what you know to be true? Yeah. That sounds more viable, that they're afraid to really put their foot down and stand up for what is right because they're going along with what what is in the system and what is being instilled in everybody, you know. Yeah, some people look at it like it's an incredible time to be alive, like it's a great awakening. I don't see it like that. <laughs> I really don't. I don't see much has changed at all. It might. I would really be surprised. Yeah. And just who's got to wake up? that isn't awake already. And if you are awake, well, are you sure that you're fully awake? <laughs> you know, because uh, these people can't be. They can't be in their right minds. It isn't a matter of whether they're sleeping or not. It's a matter of their genetic makeup and who they're working for, who they're serving. They're not confused. I know people with mental handicaps that can think clearer than some of those college students they had interviewed on that one clip of uh, Awaken with JP. You know? Poor things. <laughs> Guess got to put them through the wash cycle one more time because they didn't get clean. I have another cigarette with you in chat. A little bit longer. It's disgusting. Yeah, good for that woman, though. You could tell me you're a lampshade. <laughs> I didn't expect her to come back on that. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> I think especially moms are really getting fed up with the lies that will affect their children, you know. So they're more in a combative frame of mind than a lot of men that don't see the dangers towards the family. It's the family that they want to destroy, obviously. This push started in the 60s really hard, you know? If you make a society oversexed and they're sexualizing children, that's, that's one of their goals, is to make that acceptable. What do you have left when you destroy the little people before they even become adults? You know? A screwed up society. And good for the people that um, protect their children in ways that other people don't see. Good for them. You know, it's not an easy life out here when you uh, don't go with the flow. You're the odd man out. You could be the only person in a, in a room full of people. <laughs> <clears throat> that are lusting after each other or looking for the next hookup, whether they're married or not. 
and you could be the only one in a whole group of people that is sickened by it, and nobody's going to give a shit about you, you know? Nobody's ever gave a shit about my feelings like that. If anything, they'll laugh right in my face and, and um, step it up and make sure that I'm thoroughly offended and sickened, you know, or actually get um, murderous with me, towards me, because I don't join in, you know. The things I've had happen to me is, uh, I can barely describe it. Yeah. But I think some of you know just what I mean. I would hope there's other people out there that understand that. Because it's painful. It really is. Who wants to be in society when it's uh, so filthy? Maybe you can deal with it. I, I can't. I mean, I can deal with it, but they don't like how I deal with it. And I don't like to have to. I don't see it changing. I see it getting worse. That's the only change I've seen. In a world where we're encouraging little people to change their body parts or to suppress who they are with chemical drugs and that type of thing. And people should be screaming to high heaven but they're not saying a word, not a word, not one peep. Yeah. They can tell you about aliens and they can tell you about giants. They can tell you that strange flesh doesn't mean the queer community. They can tell you all their fucking lies and try and make scripture into something that it's not. And people are just eating it up. It's sickening. I hope somebody feels like I do out there. Let me know. It's disturbing. Is there anybody out there? All right. Have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.